Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do a get ready with me because we are going to the beach. We're going on a day so for my best friend's 30th birthday. And I'm going to show you guys a quick, simple, easy makeup look that you can wear, or well, that I'm wearing, to go to the beach. I do not care. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Wow, I do not have any lashes on because I will be swimming in the water, so it would not make any sense. So, <laughs> did the best I can with my itty bitty lashes. So, if you want to see how I got this to look, stay tuned. And I just may show you guys the bathing suit of today's choice. So, if you want to see how I put everything together. This gun, Panadan, Billion, she Caribbean, so Caribbean. So the first thing we are going to do is moisturize. We are going to moisturize our face. My face is already cleansed. We're going to moisturize our face. And I'm using Dag Aloe Oil to just put moisture in my face before my initial makeup application. Next, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Matte Primer and I'm just concentrating that into my T-zone but still making sure that I cover the entire face with the primer. Now I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I'm just gonna lightly do some strokes to fill in my brows just a little bit. I initially, the goal wasn't to get them super dark, so I don't want them like super, super snatched. You know, I'm still trying to go for you know uh, a light makeup look because i'm going to the beach so i'm just taking some light strokes with that anastasia beverly hills brow wiz and i'm just filling in my brows a little bit next i'm gonna take the spoolie side of that same brow wiz and i'm gonna brush that out get them all nice and neat ready for this concealer application i'm gonna take my tart wow i am gonna take my tart what is the name of this concealer? I am gonna take my Tarte. Woo! I could not remember the name of this concealer. All right, so this is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I don't even know how I forgot the name of that. Like that is one of my favorite concealers and I legit forgot the entire name. So I am taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Deep to carve out these brows. So now I'm taking my LA Girl Concealer and I am putting it to the top of my brows and this is in the shade Chestnut and this is the shade closest to my skin tone. So I usually use the skin tone shade concealer to the top of my brow so that it looks better and it's easier to blend out. We don't want the halo look around our brows, so using the same color concealer on top really helps us out big time when it comes to blending. So we do not waste makeup around here, because sweetie, they cost money. So what we're gonna do, the leftover concealer that we have for the top of our brows, the leftover that may be on the brush, we are gonna use it and we are going to cover any imperfections on the face that we do not want to come through underneath our foundation so you know I'm a little up in age so I do have a little bags and so I'm just taking a concealer and running it under where I may have a little Louis or Gucci underneath that eye and I'm also gonna take that concealer and put it on the dark spots on my face and I'm gonna take my foundation brush so this is a really simple makeup routine like I literally used one brush two brushes the most for the entire look so I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend all that concealer out so you don't want any harsh lines underneath your foundation you want to make sure that everything is as blended as it can be before your foundation coverage now I'm gonna take my cover FX foundation and this is in a shade 
N100. But before that, I also actually forgot to put it before. I'm gonna take these Cover FX Gold Drops. And this is just to illuminate my face more because I'm going to the beach. So like when the sun hits me, I want like a glow. If you know what I mean. Like, you know, I want that rich, you know, beautiful skin type glow. So I'm just going to take those Cover FX Drops and I'm just going to drop a little bit over my face, over that foundation. I'm going to add a little bit more foundation after that so I don't end up looking like Tin Man, super gold. <laughs> So, or super chrome or, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna take a little bit more foundation and I'm just gonna cover over those gold drops and blend everything in together. I'm gonna bring that down on the neck so that it blends and we're gonna get a nice even look. So now I'm going to take my beauty blender, a damp beauty blender at that, and I'm just kind of, it's like buffering the skin. I'm just buffering the skin, making sure everything is smooth. You know, sometimes the brush, since I'm using one brush, the brush can leave little streaks of foundation and you don't want that. So you just take your beauty blender and it just kind of buffs out the foundation that you already placed. Now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer, remember the name this time, and now I'm going back in under the eye. And I'm gonna blend that out starting from the bottom into the under eye. And I'm just gonna blend that out over my eye, everywhere where I put the concealer in my T-zone, on my nose, on my forehead, on my chin. And I'm just gonna blend that out. So next I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade X. And I have been using this contour stick since she came out with it. Like, this is my ultimate favorite. It just blends so easily. It's like the perfect color. And I just absolutely love it. And I'm just going to put that by my cheek. So what I'm doing, I'm cutting it. Like, this fat face, we are cutting it down. We are slimming that face down by adding in that contour. And what we're doing, we're adding shape to the face. So when you put on your foundation alone, you look flat. When you add your highlight alone, you look big. So you have to take your concealer, that contour stick, sorry, and you have to, it, it narrows the face. So contouring helps narrow down the face. So next, I'm gonna take some setting powder, and this is not one specific setting powder. I have this thing where I mix setting powders to get the shade that I want. So I mix my Cover FX translucent setting powder with a, uh, I think I mixed this one with a crayon case setting powder, a more yellow tone one. And I'm just gonna set where I placed that concealer under my eyes, on my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. And then I'm gonna take this contour powder, and this is a cheap dollar store contour powder. I think this one is from Nika K. And I am going to place that contour powder where I placed the contour stick if you have not noticed in makeup everywhere you put liquid you put powder to set and that is so it doesn't move it doesn't run it's 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 it stays it's there next i'm adding back the color to my face and it, it just like i love blush it literally brings everything together so i'm just adding this nice light it looks like a nice little i don't know it looks like a beach blush but it's from Tarte, I cannot remember the name. I will definitely pin that down below. So I'm using L'Oreal's mascara, which is my favorite mascara, and I'm trying to bring my lashes out because as I said, I'm going to the beach, so I don't want to wear falsies because those would more than likely come right off if I'm swimming. And just so I don't completely look like a naked mole rat, I'm just gonna add a little mascara here. I'm also not doing any liner because I don't want that to run down into my face while I'm in the water looking like I got beat up last night. So I'm using my Mario B Rose Water and I'm just spritzing my face. And that is to make sure all the powders blend right into my face, giving me a more skin-like look than a cakey, overpowered makeup look. And then I'm gonna take that shimmer from Mary Kay and I'm just gonna add that over my highlighted areas.
after using the Mary Kay shimmer I'm gonna take a little bit of that Fenty Beauty trophy wipe and because it's such a powerful highlighter like this is probably the most powerful highlighter I own I'm just gonna tap my brush very lightly into that and do light strokes because you know when the sun shines down on me I want the sun to shine down on me so you know that's just for an extra glue effect I know you guys watching this video like isn't she gonna comb her hair yeah so I have very long locks and they tend to get a little heavy so I don't do much to them just a little edge control I run maybe like a brush through them and they're good to go so yeah we're just edging this up right quick so we can look a little presentable you know and all that and then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty clear lip gloss and I'm gonna apply that to my lips so another process of my small hair routine is taking a spray bottle with water and uh, aloe oil mixed and I'm just gonna spray that to moisture my hair Today's bathing suit, I got this from prettygirlcurves.com. I'm a little insecure about my breasts, but I mean, at this point, it is what it is. So, um, it does come with some patterns, I guess, to help. I don't know if it's really helping. And then it has these strings pulled together really tightly. And it comes around the waist, and you can, you know, tie it around however much time you wish. I paired it with these Fashion Nova swim cover pants. So... Thank you for <laughs> I got a couple of hot. Thank you for watching my video, coming back to my channel. Subscribe if you subscribe. Did you subscribe? Did you subscribe?